here for another one-on-one -on -one, and I'm so excited today to be with my friend Gray Malin. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. I'm so excited to be here in your house too because your house, he just had it redone. It's so gorgeous. Thank you. It's beautiful. You have amazing work from Capri to the Prada Marfa, which a lot of you may have seen. Gray, can you just kind of tell me a little bit about how you got your start? I am. Um, well, I studied photography in college. Oh, you did? Okay. I studied photography and marketing. Okay. Um, I went to school in Boston and then I landed an internship um, in marketing at Paramount Okay. and um, it led to a job which I took and ultimately after a year I was just like not really in digging this. I knew I wanted to do photography. Mm -hmm. So that's when I, um, I sort of like told everybody, guess what? <laughs> It, I know it's a recession, this was 2009. Oh god. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna leave my corporate job to become an artist, and they were all like, you're crazy. But I just knew I had to do it. Yeah. I knew it inside, or something, you know, just weird sometimes. Um, you felt, you follow have, your gut, really, yeah, is what it was. So I, one Sunday, I was at the West Hollywood um, Melrose Fairfax Flea Market, mm -hmm. which I frequented a lot, and um, uh, my friend was like, you should you should sell your work here. Yeah. So I asked them if they were taking applicants, and sure enough, they were like, bring us your portfolio. So I looked, I brought it, they looked through it, and I got a booth mm -hmm. at the Melrose Market. And every Sunday for pretty much spot on like one year, mm -hmm. I um, sold my prints in a 10 by 10 uh, booth at the flea market That's and so and I went that fall I went to Prada Marfa mm -hmm. um, and I, I I got home from the shoot and I hung the one of my first photos of it in my own bathroom and everybody who came over was like what is this this is so fun <laughs> yeah can I buy this and yeah I was like, I'm sure this is so weird you want to buy this and <laughs> As you know, so I hung it in the booth one Sunday and it just like sold and sold and sold. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went back up to Marfa a couple months later and I shot the project with locals. And I grew up going to Marfa, so I sort of was fortunate to have a little bit of a foot in the door. Mm -hmm. And then once that happened, um, I started to sort of understand a bit more about fine art photography and mm -hmm. what do people, what are they looking for? Mm -hmm. And um, I took more classes and then I ultimately got to online yeah which is where um, the art world was moving online yeah and and it's, so, it just opens the doors to the masses you just you don't have that one small Melrose trading post sort of exactly. buyer you have people in Canada to Asia to everywhere exactly where do you get inspired to come up with these ideas sometimes things come together quickly right and sometimes they take you know nine months um, or like there, I, there was an idea I had that I executed earlier this year for, I've had it for two years and really? I just, yeah, it's coming out this fall and like, I didn't know how I was going to bring it to life, mm -hmm. but sure enough, you did it. The stars aligned or it takes time and they're more crazy ideas. And so they come when they come. And, interesting. But it is, it is interesting when you have, um, people generally want to do they want to, um, they want to help you. Like, yeah. I've found if I ask, the door will open. Yeah. And like, someone gave me that advice once, was like, don't wait for doors to open for you. Mm -hmm. Knock and open them yourself, mm -hmm. and you'll get in much faster. I so, love that advice. You guys have to use that piece of advice, for sure. Um, don't hesitate to knock. Yeah. It's not going to open for you. Okay, I it's, like this. It's absolutely the truth. I want to do this fun little quick fire round just so people can kind of get to know the real gray and what you're like and what you do. So it's just fun quick questions. Sure. Are you ready for me? What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> this past, um, past New Year's, I flew to Sydney last minute. And oh my god, I remember that. Yeah, was that was crazy. 48 hours and flew back and it was for New Year's. It was amazing. That's so cool. Nothing like those fireworks in Sydney. What is your biggest guilty pleasure? Um, probably Mexican food, Texas. Oh my god, I love. Yeah, um, you're a Texan. Yeah, Yeah, I, I could eat it every day. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? Um, definitely Instagram. As a photographer, it's just fun because yeah. it's snapping pictures, which you already love to do. Yeah, it's inspirational yeah. too. It's cool. Um, 
a, this is a tough one, I feel like. A movie that has made you laugh the hardest. Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh man, I love comedies. You do? But... I thought you did because I was thinking of a movie and I was like, I thought he, he would <laughs> probably have a good answer to this one. Um, well, don't judge, but um, I really have always loved the movie Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. Oh my god, and I love like, that. She's like, thinks she's gonna die, but then she lives, yeah. and like, it's funny and sappy, and mm -hmm. like, it's like a laugh and a cry. I yeah. kind of love that. <laughs> and the last question is, what do you order on your pizza? <laughs> Silly. Um, oh my gosh, we just got a pizza um, that had fried eggplant on it, and it was unbelievable. Really? Yeah, you have to try it. Like. <laughs> Fried just cheese eggplant. and fried eggplant. Yeah, I think so. Weird. I know it's so weird, but um, oh I'll my try gosh, it. um, it was amazing. Really? Not you have to have it fried. Okay. You know? I mean that's like a total southern thing. I'm always down for fried food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust me. Okay, so. good. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule and letting us come in here. And I know they appreciate it. And I'm just happy to talk to you and hear about your story. Great. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys thank for you. watching. <laughs> Have a good one. See you soon.